All right, chat, we're going to watch scary videos caught on ring cameras. Ooh, scary. Make sure you're wearing your diaper. Sleepy seal. The man you're looking at. Oh, this guy's horrifying. Kill him. That is 56 year old Stephen Groves. For two whole years, Groves has been harassing his disabled neighbor, Stephen What? and his caretakers. The harassment has been caught on a ring doorbell camera multiple times. I poop myself. Clips, it's okay, Rinty. Make sure you got your device, bedpan. Trying to clip its wires. But why? The spooked right now. In another clip, he's seen scrolling on the lens with a marker to no effect. Why is he so worried about it? And in these instances, whacking the device with a hammer or broom handle. Damn! What the fuck? Bro, I'd kill this guy. And so they put it back up. Dude's weird. Might be a little schizo. No, bro. These people are just assholes. Literally, bro. What the fuck? Look how creepy. Look how dead his eyes is why he does it. Look like a psycho. Look at him, bro. Like, no emotion. The reason behind the man's attacks on his neighbor's property are unknown. Jeez, little fucking freak. Over Freeze the past Bella, six months, good. Groves has been convicted of three charges of harassment against Persad and has been put on a curfew and ordered to pay compensation for damages to Persad's property. Stephen Persad's niece is terrified Christ. for her uncle, having stated this is no affecting her whatsoever. mental health, and she's scared that Groves may have intentions to harm her uncle. The restraining order that was put into place is clearly having no effect, as Groves is still harassing Persad. On top of the restraining order, Groves has been put on an electric tag for the better part of a year. What the fuck? And was also ordered 20 weeks of rehabilitation. Police don't seem to be able or willing to do anything more to help, considering this has already been taken to court, and Groves has been convicted multiple times, leaving Persad in a very vulnerable spot. <laughs> Bro, you get what you fucking deserve. Convicted multiple times, leaving Persad in a very vulnerable spot. That's hilarious. The crazy can be seen in Whoa. this man's eyes. And it's understandable for Persad. I know, right? To be Look at this. Sleep over this. As this is a clearly dangerous, unstable man who may escalate from just attacking Persad's property to actually attacking him. What a freak. This or next about video prison? was recorded Lamar, in an unknown Lamar. area at a late hour in the night. Two hooded, suspicious looking individuals, one wearing a mask, approach a man's front door. And when he answers, the woman pretends that her car broke down and she needs to borrow a phone. Oh, this shit is creepy, bro. What the fuck's the music? Hello, do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. You don't? Sorry. Dude, when people ask the phone, it's the most awkward shit. Because it blinked once, clearly. I'd be doing that. Like, bro. It's like the, it's like the worst feeling. It's like, you got a phone? It's like, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> But he's holding a gun? Bro, why, why are you such a pussy robbing a house? Make your fucking girl. Oh, go knock on the door. Well, that's why I bought a taser. That's why you gotta stay strapped. The man's first mistake is opening the door at this hour to two hooded individuals. Yeah, bro, what the fuck? Why would you open your door at this night? Like at night to strangers? Like, what the fuck? Being that his ring camera would have allowed him to check who's at the door before opening it. Instead of opening the door, if he felt the need to respond to the people at his front door, he could have and Except should have used the, the voice door. feature on his ring device to ask the who they were and what they need. Instead, yeah, the man wild. opens the door. And people have tried to rob me, but I've never robbed. Agree to let them use a phone. I guess, like, I guess, like, people have stolen shit from me, but I've never been like robbed at like by force. We don't. We don't. Sorry. Opening the door in the first place was a mistake, as the man in the yellow hoodie and mask took the opportunity to rush the door with a gun after taking one last look to the right to check for witnesses. Luckily, the homeowner slammed the door shut just in time. Damn, what a the puss. the two would-be assailants fled the don't scene. Don't recommend. In this yeah. case, I don't recommend getting robbed either. Robbery and danger just by the skin of his teeth. 
and hopefully learn to check who's at his door before answering. For up three times in a year if there? Seen any Holy of my fuck. other videos about doorbell camera footage, then you'd know the importance of checking that your is so scary. surroundings before unlocking and opening your door. Especially depending on that shit is wild. Like just waiting for it to open the door. The area in which you live. In this video taken by the Ring doorbell camera of TikToker Jojo Ramirez, you see just how close she and her child were from danger, and how the only thing between her and a creepy man was her front door, which she locked with only seconds to spare. Get inside, you fucking kid! Shut the door! Shut the door! I need to take a full shower. Daniel? Oh, that's so weird. You know, Kenny was just as bad. That's so weird. Yeah. Oh, no. This guy is fucking terrifying. Who is that? Get out of here. It's on site. I'd shoot. Huge egg. He's even creepy looking. Get out of here. I if I can't. What makes this scary is- Bro, I would- Honestly, bro, I would fucking dog walk his ass. I'd beat the fuck out of him. One time I fell asleep and opened my door being cracked open. What happened? Like, did you, like, look at the person I ran? That it shows how most of us in our day-to-day lives fail to realize know, how at up. any moment, your life yeah, can you, be put you, in- Really, being aware of your surroundings, especially at night, especially if you're a woman, no offense to women, um- you gotta like always be aware of your surroundings and like uh, especially like getting in and out of your car, like have your keys ready to go, lock your door as soon as you get in it, turn on your lights and start driving as soon as possible. Yeah. You reckon he's a tweaker? Uh he probably is on some sort of drugs, but like pe people do drugs all the time and don't hurt people, so not a really good excuse. Looked around but nothing seemed wrong, I reckon so. I hiring a bodyguard when I get my own place or just get a gat. Danger by someone else. Get the gat, get the gat, get the gat. Jojo had picked up her child and they were Bro, I would literally give this guy a fucking third eye. I'd fucking shoot him right in the forehead. We're just getting home. Having a typical mother's- Like, dude, listen! I have a crippling fear of being kidnapped. Brenna, listen. You don't have to worry about that. Dude, if someone broke into my house, bro, I fucking think about this shit all the fucking time. I am prepared. I am so prepared. Like, sometimes I low-key want someone to try something. Like, is this- is that fuck to say? Like, I kind of want an excuse to- <laughs> Okay, I'm going too far. But what I'm saying is, like- if it was justified, like, I wouldn't mind. Uh, a life. Dude, stop. Come on now. Loose of it more dangerous than some drugs. Laval. No, but for real, dude. Like, like, dude, if someone, like, broke in my house. Like, imagine, imagine being a thief. Like, all right, chat, you're the thief. Like, being a thief. Uh, let's, let's, let's drop our biases. Being a thief is, is gonna be pretty fucking stupid. And pretty motivated. Um, because, like, it's nerve-wracking, you're, like, risking your freedom, you're risking your life, a lot, like, there's, like, the, like, thieves, bro, they're nervous as fuck, their adrenaline's pumping, they're crazy as fuck. But, dude, if I someone broke my house, bro, like, imagine it being dark, you're breaking a house, you're tiptoeing around trying to find something, and you just hear a grown man, 24-year-old me, just maniacally laughing in my bedroom, like, like, just, like, come in here, just, like, fucking giggling. Like, 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 bro, you would run out of the house, like, I, I promise there's some crazy motherfuckers out there, but, dude, like, I have some un, un, unresolved anger, some unresolved revenge that, like, uh, given the right opportunity, it's gonna come out. And, uh, on this, someone like this, who might be innocent of at least, you know, dying. Like, a <laughs> double down, double barrel or rock saw ain't gonna kill them, but they gonna move for a few? Nah, bro, a fucking knife. Like, a knife, um, I, I put them in a chair, a car battery on their nipples. Like, I know that might seem like torture and that might not seem like self defense, um, but to me, Torture is self-defense. It's a form of self-defense. Cobra Kai's ass? Nah, like some limb niece and taken type shit. Like until the fucking power goes out. Flip that switch on. Shock the shit out of him. Son. Maybe they urge us out. Kill Bill ass. It's like my intrusive thoughts are winning, and I like it. An argument of sorts. To it, yeah. You can hear her son Daniel complain that he's tired. And JoJo responds, I need you to shower really fast. Oh, shower really fast. Use the house itself. I need you to go shower. A normal moment in which a mother would have her guard down in the assumed safety of her own property. The creepy man at the front door then tries the door handle, Yesterday's alerting lose. Jojo that Yesterday's someone is at the sauce. front door, huh? and you can hear her respond in an alarmed voice, Who is that? Get out of here. Who oh, is lost. that? Get out of here! She then exclaims to her son, there's a guy outside. She's Look. so chill about it. She's like, who is that? Get out of here. Where's the 
Oh my god, there's someone on my porch. Get out of here, you guy. Creepy guy. Get out of here. Ew. As Jojo shouts for him to leave, he backs up, but boldly continues firmly standing in front of the door with his haunting blank expression, not saying a word. The man came out of nowhere so quickly that it could be she that he was for drama, you can for sell. Life, yeah. or perhaps was waiting for them to She's return. Like, uh, bozo. It's anybody's guess what would have happened if the door wasn't locked in time, but a pretty strong assumption would be the man was after Daniel, Ew, look at his nasty Jojo's pubes. young son. I mean, that was a pretty bold assumption, I agree. This footage was viewer submitted, and it was taken by their ring doorbell in a To nice, come look? Yeah, what quiet... the fuck? Hey, son, come look at this fucking creepy pedo trying to steal you. ...neighborhood in the Netherlands. The viewer was in bed on an ordinary night when he heard noises... The Netherlands. Him, ...thinking it could have been an animal, he ignored it and went to sleep. The next morning, this was the footage he found after seeing the notifications from his ring doorbell from the night before. What the fuck? In the fuck? video are three, maybe four young men trespassing on his property, two of them climbing the roof, while the other of the three who were visible, whispering to one or more people out of view What? Of the Why? Why is she do- why are they doing this? bed the netherlands cap yeah exactly that's no bro draft's right he just cracked the da vinci code gang related i think come on giraffe we're being gaslit Luckily, this was a cold night and all the windows in the house were closed because it was clear they were trying to burglarize the house when scratch marks were found on two of the upstairs windows as if someone was attempting to lift them up. When I was a kid and, and before we moved into the, the wilderness, um, we had this uh, like side porch on our house that was like elevated in the air. It was like on the second story. And had, like, a, you could walk, there were stairs that walked up to it. And as you walked up the stairs, you basically came in about like chest level with my bedroom window mine and ben's bedroom window at the time and so like as you come up the steps you could like look directly into like the bedroom it's kind of creepy um but one day I, we heard some noises um at night and i told my dad about it and he came in the room i yelled for my dad he came in the room and when he came in there someone had perfect like with like a box cutter had cut out the screen in my window yo he's got a ring camera let's do some crazy shit come on i mean i don't th they might not see him open given that there were three or four of them they could have posed a serious threat if they were to have entered the home. Like, I want a ring camera, but then again, like, bro, imagine seeing some shit you don't want to see, yeah. like, some creepy guy just, like, like naked in front of your house all the time. Damn, that's just wild. It was wild. I was really young when it happened, too. After viewing the video, the viewer made sure to keep his windows all locked the following nights, and a few nights later, he woke up to the sound of someone attempting to open a downstairs window, this time not caught by the ring camera. The footage was submitted to the police in hopes that they could identify them based on their faces. I want a ring camera. To blur their faces by the viewer, just so that if any of the perpetrators were to see this video, they wouldn't come back to the house again for any type of revenge. Mm -hmm. This one is perhaps one of the simpler yet scarier clips caught by a doorbell camera, despite how quick it is. Not many details are known, like where this took place. They're but parkouring this was though. by the neighbor of the owner of the ring camera. In the video, we see in the dead of night a masked, young-looking man approach the front door of a house with a gun in his hand, stand there for only a few That's seconds, fake. clearly contemplating what he was about to do, then backing out probably in fear and leaving. The owner of the house didn't that, know who this was. Like, who walks up like that with a fucking gun in their hand off the street? Like, he's just holding the gun in the open? I heard banging on the doors, like, in, like, 20 minutes, there was no one inside. Like, like, is, is this, like, uh, hmm... I don't know, maybe. I mean, criminals are known to be fucking stupid. This was probably a person working up to an armed robbery, possibly having a sight specifically on this house. Of course, without all the details, that's just speculation. And there could be a whole lot of other explanations as to what's going on here. But if I just want to bang it, break into my house, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything. I'd be quiet. And I would just like, like post up with my uh, weapon of choice. And just wait, just wherever they're trying to break in the window, a door, just wait out of sight, but where I can see it. I got my my uh, weapon aimed at that, that area. And as soon as they come in, just surprise, surprise. You know that, that fucking meme? Surprise, motherfucker! Some shit like that. I don't know, I feel like I would say a cool catchphrase, like, uh, Kablammy! Or some shit, I don't know. You know, you just got blasted!
Your ass is dead. You know. I'm like, pop, 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 pop. don't move or I'll shoot. Some shit like that. I don't know. Is a color guard sword? It would not be in my bathroom. However, regardless, the chances of this guy. Time or for any pound other sound. Pound sound. I don't know. Like the thing is, you want it. You want it to be something kind of stupid. Because like, imagine like you, you die, and the last things you hear is like, like, uh, you know, eat a dick or something. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be so embarrassing. Like you're like the last thing you hear is like, eat a cock and bam. Or like, I'm gay, bam. So like you can tell someone, you can like get it out there. Or, and then like no one will know afterwards because he's fucking dead. Person with a gun coming back shouldn't be taken lightly. And that kind of footage should be submitted to the police immediately. Disturbing footage. Have we seen this one? I think we've seen this one. Yeah, we've definitely seen this one. I've seen them all. We've watched them all. I'm pretty sure. Then what I did last night and kill him. Tell him what you had for breakfast. This first one was submitted by viewer Trent Leons, and when this was recorded, he and his family had recently moved into his grandparents' house. The house is in the middle of nowhere, so the family naturally had their guard down. However, one night oh, at one in the morning. By the way, guys, um, in about like five or ten minutes, I'm gonna go on some Apex. So, my Apex squads, my boys, were playing Gapex. If you want to play, get ready. Morning. While most of the family was asleep, so that's what I think. got a notification for a ring that there Let was me just watch the first the one. Door. A notification for movement for help. Yeah, I've seen it. This one. Oh, you can see the person right there. That would be so creepy. This sits on in the background. I'm already on. Can I use a phone to call a cab? Call a cab? Why would you walk up to like a... Oh, this is so creepy. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if I ever got stranded in the middle of the fucking woods, I find like a random house, and it's like 3 a.m. in the morning, completely pitch black. Like, I'd rather just like lay out in the woods and starve than like scare some innocent family or risk getting shot, like going up to the house in the middle of the night, like, like sneaking around. Like, why doesn't he just knock on the door if that's truly what he wants? I just be like, I fucking blammy you. Good one. Good one. Alright. Let's get some gaming music going.